through the, the, the bee beard video, I tried to accomplish several things. One was maybe to, to just show how gentle the honeybees were to, to my students. Another thing is that it shows great honeybee behavior because in order to get the bee beard done, they had to put the queen in a cage under my chin. And she, she's in there and then she lets off a pheromone that lets the workers know she's in that area and that they need to come to her to help her out. And so you can see that during the bee beard when they shake the frames on, the bees, they don't just go crazy and just go flying all around. They land and they go walking right up towards where the queen was. And since she's under my chin, of course, they go down onto my face and, on, and create the beard effect. I wanted to show the demeanor of, of honeybees. I, they're, they're gentle, gentle creatures, and everybody's always so scared about them. I wanted to show that, and I wanted it to get through to my students. My students are generally non-majors, so they, they, they come from psychology and nutrition, and, and they have these preconceived notions of honeybees and other insects, and I'm trying to, to squish them. Is it all in the, the pursuit of higher knowledge? We'll say sure, but there was a lot of fun to be had in there as well. Any time that you can be out just playing with bugs, I mean, that's one of the reasons to be an entomologist. I get to be a big kid all day, every day of my whole life. I have not always been into bugs. I, I have degrees in psychology and sociology first, and, and I actually had a huge fear of insects, and so I took the class that I now teach. In doing so was trying to desensitize myself to my fear and I guess uh, putting the bee beard on was was the the ultimate uh, realization of that. Okay,